prospects to see if these guys can be anything like like a Berlanga and the Stevensons and and this, I'm trying to think of more like on my head, but like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, I can't name you one freaking top ring prospect like a Zayas or uh, a Troy Isley, and, and it's crazy where it's like I wonder if with all these fighters that they have going coming in, because because they're not, they're not going to stop signing fighters, and they have all these all the stuff coming in. I, I just wonder if there's just if they're just if they're just slowly trimming some of the fat that they have going on, or they're just trying to re- reallocate a lot of it to another to another just just elsewhere worldwide at this point. But but essentially, they, the fighters are there. It's just a matter of them just setting it up. Yeah, I mean, and just to touch on, I like Brian Lewis' win over Fabian Gonzalez. I think Brian Lua versus Joseph Adorno is the fight to make at whatever weight you can make it. They're both sluggers. They're yeah. both in front of each other. I think Brian Lua versus Joseph Adorno is a really, really good fight. What do you think of that one, or do you have no interest? That one's not bad. I actually, I'm all for that at this point. I'm, 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 I'm actually biased though. I, I actually kind of want the 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 Adorno Ortiz rematch first. But if they if they can find some way to pull that off, I'm all for it. But I'm, I'm. I'm I feel like Lua's in the mix with those guys. I feel like Lua, you can throw Lua in there. He's a big power puncher. He's a pressure guy. guy. He's talented. It's like just a guy like Lua to me, put him in with either boxers who don't like physicality or guys that want to come forward and you're going to get some good fights. The problem with this fight was he took over his uppercuts landed so much. And this guy kind of, he tried to win, but he couldn't take the power. I, I think when you get a great fight with him is when you get a puncher and all that. I think him and Adorno, that's a great perspective fight. You, you touched on Xander Zayas, great young fighter, continues to do everything that is asked of him at this point. Yeah, and I think with, Z- with Xander, I, I think what, him, what helps him out a lot more than anything else is, and you, see, you can see it on his Instagram and social media, is where he, is, he has had some of the best training ever, uh, Luki, with some iron sharpers, iron stuff, for real. Like, I mean, he's been hanging out with the Broners, the Croppers. He's, got, he's pretty much gone worldwide at this point, but same man to Serrano. Like, the, this kid's all over the place training with all these world-class fighters, and, and you can see it showing out in the ring. It helps out. It really does. World-class team behind him, too, as well. Top rank, JC, Javier Centeno. He's got Peter Kahn behind him helping. He has a great, solid team behind him, which that makes him, 